Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Timmy Treacle, and my next movie review I'm going to be doing is Sunday Bloody Sunday. The movie was released on July 1st, 1971. It is a British drama that has a 7.1 out of 10 on IMDb, a 94% on Rotten Tomatoes, and 86% on Google. The movie was directed by John Chesslinger and written by Penelope Gillette, and it stars Peter Finch, Glenda Jackson, and Peggy Ashcroft. This movie is about a recently divorced career woman, Alex, who begins a romantic relationship uh, with an artist, Bob Elkin, fully aware that he is also uh, involved with a middle-aged doctor, um, Daniel. For both Alex and Daniel, the younger man represents a break with their repressive past and though both know that Bob is seeing both of them, neither is willing to let him go. And um, they're basically trying to um, juggle a time between the three of them. This is a love triangle. Um, ultimately, though, we see uh, young Bob uh, wanting to uh, do other things, explore other things. He wants to go to the United States and open up his own art gallery eventually, which means he would end up leaving both of them behind. Now, <clears throat> does he end up doing it? Well, you just have to watch the movie to find out. But this movie is is really good. Um, the movie was nominated for four Oscars and two Golden Globes. And this is one of many movies uh, in the late 60s and early 70s that come out uh, with uh, gay characters. Uh, the first one I remember watching was um, Midnight Cowboy from 1969. That's another movie I highly recommend you check out if you haven't seen it. I do believe I've done a review for that on my channel as well. Uh, and uh, this movie received high praise not only from the Oscars and Gold Globes, uh, but two of the most famed critics, uh, Gene Siskel and Roger Ebert, named this one of their best films of 1971. Uh, Gene Siskel had it at number five on his list, and um, Ebert had it at number six on his, respectfully. So this was well received uh, by the critics. Cinema score, of course, don't have a score for this because they didn't do it back then. Um, but this was an amazing story of three different people, different stages in their lives, and really trying to focus on just being happy in the moment uh, with the realization that it could all end abruptly. But uh, this is a great movie. There, there are some issues for me. One, it's, I think it's a little long. I, I think there's certain scenes we really didn't need in this movie. Um, there's certain characters in the movie that honestly I don't think was really necessary uh, and the picture quality was good but definitely could have been better uh, but outside of that though this is a fine movie I don't think it is as great as being on a top 10 list I don't know where would it be on my top 10 movies in 1971 uh, it may be in the top 10. I don't know. I don't even know if I've seen 10 movies from 1971, to be honest. But I do know it is a good movie. It is definitely worth a watch. And uh, I would probably watch it again. It was really good. But I didn't like it as much as some others. So I will give Sunday Bloody Sunday a 8 out of 10. And I will give it two thumbs up. Um, the performances, especially from the three leads... Um, were the best thing about the movie, in my opinion. But um, outside of that, I have nothing else to say. So in the comment section below, if you've seen the movie, give me your thoughts and opinions. And did you like it more than me? Do you think it was a perfect film? Did you think it was bad? Okay, let me know. And let's have a great discussion about this movie. Other than that, stay tuned for another one more movie review before I watch the NFL playoffs. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. If you like this, hit the like button. But thank you for watching and check you later.